I went to uh, Turkey in, I think it was 91. Um, I was 20, 21, going on 22. Couldn't get into the first team here, so I went into a bit of an experience um, to, to just play football. And to be honest, I was I was made ever so welcome. I think back then, um, football around Europe had a very, very regard, high regard for English footballers. Although I'd come out of sort of like reserves here and was going to, to play in a league where you know they were supported by 35,000 people home for home games week in week out big you know i mean i always thought it was our, our national sport but over there it was absolutely phenomenal but i was always made welcome wherever i went um and you know when i come back here and see the things that have gone on you know i was surprised by my time because we're talking about 25 maybe 30 years ago that i went to i went to turkey and i was made very very welcome I grew up in, in, in Lever Road, Notting Hill, a um, very multicultural um, area of, of London. And um, and over the years, that's just improved and evolved. And, you know, most people I speak to when I go abroad, they say to me they love London because it's multicultural and everyone seems to get on with everybody. I think that can only help um, in, in trying to shoot racism down and, and, and try and improve relations with, with all in sundry. I often say to people that you can have empathy for, for racism, but unless you've suffered it, you don't really know it. So um, it's always difficult to, to be able to put it across to someone because anything that somebody's gone through in life, it's not just racism. Unless you've actually gone through it yourself, you can have, you can, you can have an empathy and an, an idea of it, but you don't actually know it. Um, so it's tough. And when you see people at the top and they, and they make comments without knowing, but they think they're making the comments that... Um, are suitable to that situation um it's difficult and you know there's a thing called covert racism as well and i think that that it, that exists heavenly in football and there's people being racist without even realizing they're being racist and you look at most of the organizations and they say well you know we employ black people but where do you play where do you employ black people most of them are menial like menial labor and nothing at senior senior level It's great because you go to a lot of you go to a lot of clubs and um, you know fortunate that I came my career and as you said I, you know I go to places and, and, and you know certain people recognise me and, and that makes life a little bit easier. But um, you know you look at people that are in charge and do the doors at, at, at football clubs and they're in their sixties, seventies. So you know their education was from a different generation and a different understanding and. They would stop, probably stop a black guy going into the boardroom if you're not socialising it and understanding it. You never are going to understand it because you're never, you're not, never being exposed to it. Show racism the red card.